When you discuss the cosmos, maybe the single most intriguing possibility to us as human beings is yeah. what other intelligent life, if any, is out there. And how interesting is that to you? Because oh. you spend so much time d d studying the fundamental particles of the universe itself. Yeah. How interested are you in the possibility of other intelligent life forms? Or have you just like <sighs> put that out into the – it's just so – ridiculously unlikely or so far away from us that we're probably never going to make contact. Well, you see, it's not so... There's this SETI program where yes. they're looking at to see whether they can see signals from distant civilizations. The problem there, from my perspective, is that although they might be out there, they've got to have had a real head start on us before you would see them. I'm right. guessing they might have done, so... But then... I don't know. You see, actually, uh, Vahe Gurzajan, who's my Armenian colleague and who looked also for these ring-shaped things and looked at them in a different way from the Polish people, but um, we seem to have seen something there. But we wrote a paper in which we speculated on beings from the previous eon <laughs> communicating mm. with us. And the advantage there... Wow is that you're looking at the really advanced civilizations really right advanced at the very end, you see. Billions of years ago, the that they, their universe disappeared and then had to come back to a Big Bang state again. Oh, the again. signals could come through, yes. And somehow or another, those mm. signals remain. It, it's conceivable. It, I agree well, it's pretty far-fetched, but, you know, who knows what... So eons, it. how many billions of years are you talking about? Like the, the Big Bang was 14 billion? yes. But you see, that's way, way at the beginning in a sense, or it's three quarters of the way through in another sense. Mm. <laughs> it depends how you draw the pictures. Right. In the sense of interestingness or in the conformal picture, we are already three quarters of the way through. So 14 billion to now, so we have but how many billion You can't count left? it as years, you see. The right. trouble is it's, it's a cheat. It's a cheat. <laughs> the year count... It's as much as you like. It depends on, on, on something else. I, the mass has to fade out, and how you measure time is a, becomes problematic. Mm -hmm. And it's either infinity, you see, which isn't much use, or you might have a, a, a different definitions of time, which depend on what particle you're using as your clocks and things like that. So are you essentially saying that it's entirely possible that we are the furthest in terms of our technological achievement and our understanding of the universe itself? It's possible that we're at the front of the line, that there might be some other intelligent life forms in the universe, but they might be behind us. Well, there would have been... I mean, I'm not saying they got through, you see. Well, right. maybe they have techniques for getting through, but that's, that's a bit hard to, to imagine. But um, maybe information from them could get through. and maybe Tech, You mean from the previous eon? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. The, they might have got through, like somehow or another survived. Yes, but it would have to be in the form of photons or something. Yeah, no, you could, it's not, I'm talking about ridiculous right. speculation. Sure, now. but so, <laughs> encoding information yes. into photons? Yes, yes. Wow. It's conceivable. Sure. Now, I don't want to say that, that I, I, I see it happening or anything, but it's not out of the question that they could develop some technology which would get information, which might be them in some sense, uh, across in the form of photons. But you're not optimistic about current intelligent life somewhere in the universe? Not too optimistic, just because... Um, well, maybe it took us a long time to get going because the dinosaurs were there for a while and somebody <laughs> might have got in there earlier in their different planet and they could have got there quite ahead of us. It's, it's conceivable. I'm not going to rule it out. I'm just not terribly optimistic about it. No, I think it's worth doing. It's worth looking. Yes, but it's not something that you're but really it's not curious something about. I'm expecting. It's, not, it's not so much I'd, I'd be curious, certainly, but I'm not expecting it, I guess. Is it just because of the overall lack of real evidence and the, it's just not an attractive well, thing for you to pursue? It, it's quite attractive. <laughs> <laughs> it sure, certainly I would be if it was I don't know. I've just been doing other things and I don't know there's enough to do in the world. Uh, I haven't um, really come to terms with it very hugely. So I know there's this activity and I'd, I'd be interested to see if any kind of, you know, if this there was this thing that came past that some people speculated was a, sent there by an different intelligence 
which came quite close in, in, in our solar system. Oh, that was that strange-looking cigar-shaped... Yes, that's right. Yeah. I mean, I don't see any real reason to believe it's a alien spaceship. Was it because of the way it was traveling that was the, the, yes, the idea? Yes, it was something... I something know, some curious about it? Serious people did suggest it might be uh, something sent by an alien civilization. Well, it's, it's worth it. You know, if one could make uh, connect with it in some way... But I don't know. I guess it's too far away now. <laughs> well, that's another thing that's so uniquely fascinating for us, the concept of, yes. of another, of another life form out there. Oh, sure. Yes, yes. 